Lecture 4, The Schools of Feng Shui. Feng Shui is divided into three categories of schools. 1. Classical Schools of Feng Shui. 2. School of the Black Hat. 3. New Age School of Feng Shui. Classical Feng Shui. The traditional Eastern practice on Feng Shui is known as Classical Feng Shui. Classical Feng Shui differs from other schools in that it is a macro or outward in discipline that considers the environment, time and orientation of the property or space in a typical evaluation. There are two main styles of classical feng shui in this branch. One, the form school of feng shui. Two, the compass school of feng shui. Form school of feng shui. The three goals of a form feng shui examination are as follows. To recognize the natural environment and the directional divisions of the external characteristics that surround a home. To understand how astrological variables influence the Earth's energy from above. To assess the qi quality to determine where the good or negative qi collecting features are located so that they can be accessed or avoided. Form school is the earliest feng shui documentation dating back thousands of years before the creation of the magnetic compass. In the 9th century, Master Yan Yun Sung is credited for extending the theories of form feng shui. The ancients studied the soil qi or qi flow and the yin yang concepts. They learnt the ideal location for their homes as a result of this in order to assure bountiful crops, healthy cattle and their personal abundance and survival. Form school nowadays entails examining natural characteristics such as trees, hills, mountains, rivers and lakes. Other buildings, walls and fences are also included in the urban environment. Form school is still significant in feng shui, especially in flying star feng shui. The goal of this technique is to achieve harmony between heaven, man and the earth. It's considered an easy to understand system. Compass school of feng shui. Compass School assesses abstract energies that cannot be seen with the human eye, whereas Form School assesses the physical landscape layout of the surroundings. It is a more complicated program with numerous subcategories. There are two types of Compass School, Yang House. Yang House is a symbol for human homes. Flying Star and Eight Mansion Feng Shui are used in the Yang residence. Yin House. Yin House signifies the places where the deceased are buried. San He and San Yuan are the two main classical Yin House systems. To assess how Qi or Qi influences you and your home, all of these approaches emphasize the use of formulaic computations rather than the exterior physical landforms. As a result, it is thought to be a more dynamic exercise with both immediate and short-term effects causing a house's feng shui fortune to fluctuate over time. Luo Pan, the feng shui compass. All formulaic systems are based on direction, which includes the usage of the Lopan, a feng shui compass. A real classical feng shui practitioner, in my opinion, should also look at the astrological charts of the people who live in this space, as this will provide a more powerful and accurate assessment of how particular people would react and respond to energy alterations. But Z, or the four pillars of destiny, is the name given to this practice. It is important to note that the form and compass schools aren't necessarily two separate schools, rather they should be viewed as two aspects of feng shui. One is concerned with the physical formations of the environment, while the other is concerned with the abstract, invisible influences influenced by time and space, the directions. Tantric Buddhism Black Hat Sect Feng Shui School In the 1970s, Chinese Grandmaster Lin Yun Rinpoche formulated the Black Hat Sect Tantric Buddhism Feng Shui, abbreviated as BTB. Tibetan Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, holistic healing, transcendentalism, divination, psychology and classical feng shui are all incorporated into this school's ideology. It blends the technique of meditation with the ability to intuitively feel the area and its energy by quietening and concentrating the mind. To bless their homes or call in the key, 
many practitioners and enthusiasts execute rituals, chants, mantras and other affirmations. Basics of the Black Hat School It does not contemplate the usage of a compass. It does not make a blanket assessment of the external environment, the property's location or the home's facing directions. Black Hat uses the Bagua, known also as an energy map or the Bagua grid to divide a building into eight life aspirations or stations in an attempt to simplify the complex laws of traditional Chinese feng shui. It's also common to see the bagua, which means eight trigrams, broken into nine sections erroneously. Because black hat is a non-directional technique where traditional cardinal directions are ignored, the map is laid out the same manner for all sorts of properties, regardless of where the property's main door faces. Instead of using the feng shui compass to position the house, the bagua map is always orientated to the entryway into any room. Classical feng shui, as one might expect, relies less on directional energy, landforms and astrology. What's important here is the door's interior orientation. New Age School of Feng Shui Modern, Western and intuitive feng shui are all terms used to describe New Age feng shui. This feng shui system is newer as the name implies. The Western adaptation of the practice was developed around the early 1990s. It takes the bagua from black hat and uses it. It also emphasises gemstones, figurines and talismans as enhancers, as well as interior design with colours, shapes and textures, object placement and personal intuition. This is perhaps the most simple feng shui strategy. Conclusion In conclusion, when performing a feng shui analysis, classical feng shui schools take the most facts into consideration. The most intricate and in-depth is compass school or the most basic is New Age. All three schools, however, can be employed together because they all have the same goal, to improve the environment's qi energy to meet the demands of the people who live there. Therefore, regardless of which feng shui system you employ, keep in mind that the study and observation of qi or qi energy is at the heart of the practice.